the CP installation. So that is the procedure for to log into the our practice server here. In case you don't have the access, so I will create, you can update the sheet. I can create the access for you. So don't worry about the access part. I will take care of the access and everything. So yesterday we started like uh, we have, so to recap what we discussed till now, so what are the list of softwares for doing the, the first topic which we are discussing about the SAP installations, SAP installations topic we are discussing here. As part of the SAP installations, so we need the list of softwares we required, right? To install any SAP application, we need the list of SAP softwares are required. List of SAP softwares means, so we need the SWPM tool, right? The exports we required, what we discussed, right? Then we required the kernel we required. Then so DB and DB client is required. Then SAP host agent, SAP host agent, SAP host agent is required. SAP the host agent is required here. So these are the list of softwares are required to perform the SAP installation. At the same time, yesterday we started the SWP. We started the SWPM tool yesterday. We started the SWPM tool to start the installation, right? Go to the SWPM tool, go to the SWPM tool here. Then just so click on the SAP INST. SAP INST is the installer tool. Any SAP product installation, we have to do it using the SWPM tool. SW PM tool, we have to use it to perform the SAP installations here. SAP installations, we have to do it. So normally this is opening in the um, Internet Explorer. Just to open the edge. Edge is available. Just you can open the edge. So just to copy, paste the URL here. So there is a port number for the SWPM tool. That is the 4237 is the port number. So every SAP installation, we have to follow the similar procedure here. So port number for the SWPM tool is 4237 is the by default port number here. Then go with the go with the password, just enter the password here. User ID and password, which user you started the SWPM, same user you have to provide it here. So from uh -huh. here, you can see, so oh, what are the SAP product you are going to install it, okay? Suppose like you are going to install the SAP, so Netweaver 7.5, then you can select the SAP Netweaver 7.5 or you are installing the a business suit systems like ECC, CRM, SRM systems. You can select the required uh, like files. You can down, you can see it here, required folders. You need to select it here, right? So since first installation, we are doing with the Netweaver 7.5 smallest installation we are doing here, right? Why? Because installation of the each product, it will take some time. Right. So in that smallest installation installer tool is the Netweaver 7.5 above installation. It will take very smallest installation only. So few minutes, few are like only few hours it will take. Maybe four hours, five hours it will take the installation. Right. So as we discussed SAP, we can install on the any database. But for here, we are using the SQL server. Then we are doing the installation, then installation, then application server above we are choosing then standard system then standard so this is the navigation you need to select it during the installation time so this is the navigation you have to select it here so standard installation click on the ok button then it will go to the it will ask the so it will ask the what is the sad you are going to install it then so parameters, different parameters, it will ask it. Then we have to provide the list of parameters. Then we can proceed with the so remaining steps here. Here, the tool will ask the all the inputs. SWPM tool will ask the inputs here. All the inputs, it will ask it here, SWPM tool. So SWPM tool will ask the all the inputs. So we need to so wait till. So, uh, so tool will load it. It will ask the inputs one by one, one by one then we have to provide it. So now in the SWPM tool, so normally SAP, any SAP product installation, we have to do it using the SWPM tool, Software Provisioning Manager, right? So we have to start that tool. 
go to the list of softwares. This softwares we have downloaded from the SAP Marketplace. Yesterday we have seen last two days, right? Go to the SWPM. Then if you double click on the SAP INST, so then this link will be opened. So here, here we need to define the parameters. Parameters means tool will ask the some basic questions, basic inputs like uh, uh, SID, instance numbers, right? And also provide the passwords and also location of the softwares. Why? Because tool will ask the sir, we have downloaded all the softwares here, but uh, where it is asking means tool will ask the softwares now. So we have to provide it now SID. So we are, what is the SID? We are going to install it here, right? So then we need to choose the respective SID. What is the SID? So SID means three alpha numeric characters, three alpha numeric characters. We need to choose it here. Three alpha numeric characters. We have to give it here, right? So technical terms in the, as part of the SAP technical terms, SID means on naming convention, we have to give it whenever you suppose like for the born babies, for the born babies, how we are giving the name to the born babies. So same as like here also, we need to give the name to the, so SAP systems here to to connect to the SAP systems, to identify the systems within the network. So that's the reason we need to give the SID, SID, instance number. So all the details we need to fill it here. So at the same time, it is asking the end. So it is asking the SID. We can put anything, ABC, XYZ, AB1, something like that. We can put the any name. So why I mention NWD only. So this is a NetWaver product and it's a development system. So that's why NWD, suppose it is ECC, ECD, CRM, CRD, something like that CC. So like that we can, we can maintain it. By seeing the SID, we can come to know best practices. Like by seeing this SID, we will come to know which type of system is this. We know, but others don't know, right? So by seeing this system, others know what is this system. Like that we can tell, right? Hello. So, hello. Yeah, could you please explain me how to create the SID because or okay. we need to directly take this uh, NWD as a SID. Yeah, we have to give it here. Mm -hmm. Okay, means uh, no need to create first. Directly we can we uh, are assign creating. It. We are building the system means SID will be created. So we have here, to provide the name. Here, here only directly SID will be created? Yes, we have to provide the name. Based upon the, this SID only system will be created. Okay, okay, thank you. Okay, so that is the one. So here provide the SID right system identification right just click on the okay button so while taking the sid also we need to follow the best practices means so suppose based upon the product if it's a netweaver product then netweaver means like netweaver development netweaver quality system netweaver production system netweaver regression so netweaver sandbox like that otherwise ND1, Network Development 1, Network Development 2, Network Development 3, something like that. So like that, we can maintain the SIDs here. So based upon this SID, so whatever the inputs you are giving here, your system will be created. One SAP system will be created here. One SAP system will be created. So then once you provide the, all those details, FQDN is not required. DNS name is not required. Just you can uncheck that button, right? Just click on the next but dns num means www.google.com facebook.com so something like that my company.com something like that right but like that those are the dns so those are not required for all this is a training system that's not required so but real time sometimes some customers they need to put it out some customers not required so that depends it depends upon the company right so here the password we need to provide the password we need to reset pass it the password so why we are setting the password for the all the users means so during the why why we are setting the passwords means so while doing the installation to log into the SAP system they are the some users will be created to log into the systems we need to use these passwords here so you need to remember the passwords just click on the next button so what are the users will be created what user we have to use it to log into the SAP systems to do the practice here so those things will be uh, you will get so why because once the installation is completed we need to log into the sap system so definitely we need to know about the how to log into the sap systems and everything you will come to know
So here define parameter section. It's it will ask the all the parameters here. Sir, where can we check whether it is processing or not? Where can we check? It means go to the log files here. In the log files, you see there is a SCP INST dot log file here. So this is the log file, very important. Here it will clearly update the what's happening in the our backend systems here. What's up? What's happening in the backend system? All the information it will ask the clearly here, right? So, so that is the one thing here, right? What what is the SAP system? What is the SID? What inputs it is asking? Like you can see, all the details are getting updated here. All the details are logs are getting updated. Means so here during the installation time. So what you need to remember is here. So what is the port name? What is the tool we have to use it for the so frequently asked question what is the tool what is the tool for sap installation swpm tool so what is the port number for swpm install what is the port number for swpm right 4237 so what are the what are the log files you required we need to review right what are the log files to check the installation details and everything here right SAP INST dot log file here, right? So here database details, right? Just select the this, this database will not be like this here, right? That is database. This will be the database here. We need to select the second option. So our host name is the SAP training one database also installed in this box. So that's why so SAP training one is our database name. Select the details here. Just click on the, the next button here, right? It will take it first and it will connect to the database. It will check whether databases exist or successfully installed that. It will check internally. So log files here, SAP INST dot log file, SAP INST underscore dev dot log file. These are the one important log files which we need to remember here. Also, what are the list of softwares? What are the softwares, SAP softwares? required to perform the SAP installation. SAP installation, what are the softwares we required, right? So we have the, these are the softwares we required. If you know these five points, four or five points, so definitely you can throw the, so this interview here, right? So database you have given, now it is asking the kernel path. Sir, where it is mentioned kernel path means these files are called the kernel files. So here you need to, Go to the system C drive SAP softwares. So kernel, right? Just select the kernel, just to select the kernel where you place with the kernel files. Just click on the next button. Then after that, exports. After that, host agent. After that, something like that, it will ask the inputs. So SWPM will not blindly trust the all the softwares. So it will verify the softwares here clearly, whatever the details you have provided it will clearly verify it here. If you go to the SAP INST, it will verify it. So it will verify it. What is the software location you have given kernel? In that file, what it is reviewing, it is verifying, it is validating. All the all the details, it will clearly check it out, SWPM tool. All the details, it will, it will check clearly. All the details, it will check clearly. So how to identify which files are kernel files? So they are the four types of kernel files. So there is a topic for us, kernel upgrade. So they are the kernel means they are the four types of four files. Actually, kernel files are the four actually. So one is the SAP EXE, SAP EXE DB, then IGS, then IGS helper, IGS helper. So these are the four types of kernel files here. One is the DB dependent. So, so one is the DB DB independent file. Independent file. So independent file here. One is the DB independent file. Exe DB is the DB dependent. Depends upon your database. You need to choose the respective exe DB. This is also OS OS dependent. OS dependent. Right? And this is also. This is not the any dependent here, independent. So it's not the dependent anyone. Independent means, so it's a OS dependent. DB independent means OS dependent here. So depends upon the operating system, you need to choose the SAP EXE. 
depends upon the database you need to choose the sap exedb and depends upon the operating system you need to choose the igs and this is there is no independent you can choose only one file is available you have to download it these files here so where we have to download all the files means in the sap marketplace right so now we have to we need the s user id we need to log into the sap marketplace about like like this so from here we have to go to the download center here so go to the download center this is the me.sap.com here go to the sap download center in the download center we can download the all the files if you want to download individually you can download the all the three four files individually now i want to directly download the kernel means k for kernel go to the alphabetical order wise so 64 bit kernel then just download the zip file you can just download the installation then what is the operating system based upon the operating system you can download the respective zip file you can download it when you download the zip file it contains the all the files here all the files will be located here if you want to download individually individually you just you can search it out sap exe exedb then you will get the all the information here right you will get the all the information now see it is searching now you see this is processing now so here you see so once it is processing you see is or nothing is taken mean just scroll down scroll down and you see it should be available status it should be available four files are available see sap exe sap exedb igs exe igs alpha this should be available status then only when you click the next button it will go to the next step it will go to the next step here right then uh, it will ask the one more files it will ask the one more screen so like that one by one so it will ask the all the inputs here so now db we have given then kernel we have given then export will ask so then remaining details also it will ask us now right so we can track it here the log files so just to go to the sap inst dot log file here here we can see the all the information here important thing is the what is the log file you will refer during the installation time what is the port time these questions are very important no one asks you so like which step you are doing what is the path you are selecting not like that so software send all fine only thing is so these important things are very important here so it will check each and everything it will ask right so now it is asking the prerequisite checker results it's saying that your system does not meet the prerequisites sap recommended prerequisite like swap size and everything so it does not required just click on the next button then you want to skip the if you choose no prerequisite will be checked right skipped then i just skipped it why because it's not that much of required system will take care of that part later so now you don't require to do the swap Hello. and all everything could you could you please explain me why this app is created in sap SAP is the temporary calculations purpose. Why? Because this is the running system, right? Running means system. If means there is, it, if there is no space in buffer, then only SAP will be created. will be used. Yes, right. Okay. So that time it will be used. So now it is asking the host agent, right? Host agent. Just go to the select it where the host agent you placed it. All the softwares are in the here, right? Then select the host agent. So host agent then host agent file you can choose it then click on the next button so whatever the screen it is asking you need to provide the respect to software location you have to provide it uh, what happens like if uh, the tool stopped in the middle and uh, we were trying to download the required packages we can again, download we can it start, uh, start from uh, the same step or uh, we have resume. to start all, we can, it all together again from, it will resume from where it got stopped okay so swpm you don't need to start the middle so it will we can resume from where it got stopped 
so the tool also available it will verify it first of all it will verify it the file which you downloaded it's there correctly downloaded or not it will verify it so then only it will take it next step otherwise it will say like the file got corrupted please download the latest version of the file like that again we need to download it manually so then it got failure some network issues your system got restarted again when you start the sum tool it will ask do you want to run the freshly or you want to continue from old run where it got stopped so then we can continue from old run it will be, it will be run so now it is asking the installation exports right so then go to the package location here c drive so then software then installation exports here so just select the netweaver exports here right so kernel we have given host agent we have given so db db client exports kernel all we have given here so now it is asking the exports exports are reading here only exports are different based upon the your SAP product only exports are different so remaining all are same only exports are different here so remaining all the steps are same like only exports are set different remaining all are them only me exports are different means suppose you are downloading the ECC then only ECC ECC, ECC exports are different Netweaver exports are different CRM exports are different only depends upon the product we need to download the different exports we have to download it the same thing you are installing the ECC means you can reuse the kernel host agent DB all the softwares you can reuse it only ECC exports only you need to download it freshly you can do the installation if you are installing the S4 HANA then only S4 HANA exports you need to download it you have to install it freshly that's one we have to do it here in the systems so it is verifying see here it is verifying all the files are getting verified here even single file also mismatch or corrupted then immediately some will throw the error message like so some will throw the error message saying that so your uh, system got uh, your file got corrupted please download the latest version of the file like that it will download it here it will playlist it will download the new file here okay so it is verifying now So you can see it here what's happening in the system and all the information so it see it went to the softwares network exports here something is signed and accepted verified the successfully is signed and accepted verified it and the next one is signed and accepted verified the successfully something like that it is verifying all the information is getting verifying here Once the verification done, it will ask the next screen. So, so here we no need to do system, whatever the SWPM tool is asking, only those details we have to provide it. Those details here you can see the next one is the uh, database data files. How many data files you want to create? It depends upon the company. If the small company, you can choose the four, with the medium company, you can choose the data, it depends upon the company size. We can choose it. Ours is the small, then you can choose the four. Nothing. So, what will happen here? OS level, there are the four files, four, four big files will be created. Database related files will be created. Folders, data one, data two, data three, data four. So, those will be used for, so those will be used for the, so, so to store the data here. So, ours is the small, right? So, then we can use the less data files. We can choose it here. So, kernel. 
when first you will start with the SWPM tool. SAP INST, if you double click it, SAP SW INST will start. From there, you need to provide the inputs like SID. So then uh, provide the softwares for the uh, kernel, host agent, DB, then uh, exports, then other inputs it will ask. Then we need to just click next, 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 next. It will be installed. So just click on the refresh button. What is the use of that uh, SAP host agent? Okay. Did you see my previous classes regarding? Today only you joined, right? Yes, yes, yes. So if you see the previous class regarding, you will come to know all the information. Okay. okay. So let me explain you once again. So here, SWPM is the installer tool. Okay. Exports are, it will contain the SAP standard data, master data. So as part of the installation, you will get the some master data from SAP. The master data contains in this exports. Okay. Kernel contains the OS level libraries. So this kernel will communicate. It is a mediator. It will interact between your OS platform and your SAP application server. It will interact. It is a mediator between two. So DB, DB client, D both are the database level, which means to store the data, we need the database, right? DB client is to communicate from application and DB, we need the DB client. Host agent is the host means operating system operating system agent so host agent is operating system agent it will collect the host level information it will collect the host level operating system level information here host level information means operating so operating system level operating system level so it will collect the operating system level information here so which means what is the OS CPU utilization, memory utilization, disk utilization, net utilization, it will collect the information, it will pass the, it will collect it, it will pass the information to so your SAP system. So that's why this is the OS level agent that will be installed here, OS level agent that will be installed. So just collecting the information at operating system level, passing the information to the your SAP system. Here, how many number of jobs you want to select it? Parallel jobs. So, if you want to finish, if you want to finish the, uh, if you want to finish the upgrade, normally SAP installation will take the four to five hours of time. So, if if you want to finish quickly, you need to increase the process. This process by default to three, it will take four to five hours. If you increase the six, then Within two to three hours, it will be completed here. It will two to three, it will be completed here. So normally you choose the default option only. So just click on the next button here. Here, choosing the process is based upon the number of CPU cores. Based upon the process, it will take the number of CPU process here. Based upon the process, it will take the number of CPUs here. Suppose like, suppose like here. So uh, if your CPU has six cores, four cores, then four into so number of four process. If you see, we are five process, five CPUs. Then like that, we need to calculate the number of process here. Here, here the next screen is the application server. Primary application server is zero zero. And here SAP means whenever you are doing the SAP installation, it will create the two instances. It will create the two instances here whenever you are doing the sap installation so you have to we have to do the you have to give the two instance numbers here 00 and 01 00 and 00 01 we have to give it like instance number means how the other number is very important same way how the other number is very important for us same way for every sap system the name and instance number is the very important Name and instance number is the very important here. Name and instance number is the very important here, right? Name and instance number is the very important here. So instance number means to identification purpose only. It should be starts with the 00 to 99. So SID means, SID means, so it's a system identification number, which means three alpha numeric character. Three alpha numeric characters we have to give it here. 
So either like this, we have to give it. Instance number means 0, 0, 99. In between any number, we can give it. So every SAP system, these two are common. Every SAP system, we need to provide the, so 0, 0 and 99, these two, we have to provide it here, right? So by default, so like why? Because whenever you are doing the SAP installation, it will create the two instances. Instances means list of services here. So list of service, two instances will be created. One is the application server and second one is the ASCS instance. One is the application server and the second one is the ASCS instance here, ASCS instance. So there are the two will be created. I will explain it. So what is this two? Why there are two instances will be creating? What this two inst instance means? So just remember instance means list of services will run on this instances that is called the instances so you need to choose the default instance default numbers you can choose it or if you want to give your favorite number 10 and 11 two instances you can choose it whatever you want you can choose it click on the next button here so So here, uh, it will take it out. Whatever the number you want to give it, you can give it, right? So any number, either 0, 0, 2, in 99, any number you can give it. Our SID means system ID. These two parameters are very important. Here, we have to provide the our own uh, numbers. We have to provide it here. The next one, it is asking the SLD, then provide the SLD details here. Provide the SLD details here. SLD is not required now during the installation. SLD means system landscape directory, which we can provide it later here. Right now, it's not required. So extraction list. So it is extracting. It is verified. So individual key. We will take the individual key only here. So individual uh, key only here. Only whatever that is asking, just we need to use the default options. Just click on the next button. And only whatever that it is asking like oh, SID, we need to provide the SID. Instance number, we need to provide the instance number. Then host name, we need to provide the host name. Then, so yes, these are the like, uh, yeah, the, in the software's location, we need to provide the software's location. So these are the inputs we have to provide it. These are the inputs we have to provide it. So remaining on all, SWPM tool will take care of the default one. Now we have taken the default one, right? Like that, we need to just click next, 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 next button. That's it. So remaining and all, it will take care of that one. Individual default means uh, during the refresh time, restore time, uh, uh, default default one uh, will will why because we are restoring it in the production to development something some activities we will do that time the default key will be default key means default key will be overridden for our systems individual key means so uh, we have the individual key for the each SID individual key for the each SID each system 
so tomorrow something is happens we can recover it we can recover it using the individual key here that's why sap choose only individual key only that's why we chosen the default option we are proceeding now so now the parameter section is completed define parameter section is completed right now is the review parameter section in the review parameter section whatever the we have given the inputs right so we selected the typical then sid then we chosen the master password for all so a database details kernel host agent small number of jobs host agent all those things we have chosen right we have chosen the all the details like exports as wpm kernel we have chosen the all so then just to once you done it just we can verify it all the details here if something wrong we can choose it we can just revise it here then we can proceed with from there we can change it here right so then once you provide the all the inputs just click on the next button then it will start the installation it will start the sap installation here here we so it will take care of the next screen we are no need to do anything here here sap installation will be finished here just to cancel it here why because so it will take another four to five hours then during this time others they won't perform the they won't perform the uh, they won't do anything here so that's why once you've done it review the parameter section you can cancel the session so why because others can do the giving the inputs and everything here right finally end of the day we can give the finally end of the day we can provide the all the details here end of the day we can provide the all the details like so uh we can complete the execution as well here right just stop at review parameter section itself so once everybody given the inputs and everything then finally we can just to review the finally we can execute we can continue the we can progress the remaining steps as well we, we means system will take care of the remaining steps sap system will be installed then after that so we have the other activities we need to discuss right so so everybody just to start like one by one one by one we need to start the installation why because uh, once other one one person is doing now others cannot do the installation on the same mission right why because softwares are only one and sap system is only one thing here right so softwares are only one your operating system is only one so once the person is performed the installation installation means opening the swpm tool giving the inputs then review parameter section comes just to cancel it then other person will take care of the uh, uh, opening the swpm review parameter section then other person so in this way with coordinately everybody will get the 